Welcome to Crestron 1. Update the firmware on the control processor and the touchscreen. Currently, Crestron 1 is compatible with 3 and 4 series control processors and any TSW70 series touchscreen and only TSW60 series touchscreens with the built-in camera. Models that will not work in the 60 series will have a TSW X60 NC model name, as well as the following models in the 70 series, the TSW 570 and the TSW 570P. To get the latest firmware for a processor or touch panel, log into the Crestron website and go to the product page. In this case, we'll go to a CP4N, navigate to resources, scroll down to firmware, and press the download button to download the firmware. A 60-day trial period comes with each control processor. No license is needed to use the 60-day trial. You will have full functionality during the 60-day period. After the 60-day trial has ended, you will need to license the control system. To do this, follow the instructions on the Crestron 1 app product page. Licenses are purchased in monthly increments. Since the rooms are individually licensed, you will have full control on how long each room is licensed. To apply the license using Toolbox, you'll need to connect to the processor using the Device Discovery tool. Once the processor has been discovered, double-click on it to open the Easy Config tool, which is built into Device Discovery. Press the Functions button and select License Management. Go to Add License and paste the license key you received, then press Apply. There are a few ways to set the room name that appears in the Discovered Rooms section of the app. The host name of the touchscreen is used by default. Let's cover the other available options. Using a serial join from your simple Windows program, you can dynamically pull the name from your program. If you choose this option, you will need to make sure the simple Windows program includes the Crush on One device extender. Once you have the serial join number, you can enter it into the configuration file that we'll cover later on in the video. You can use Crushtron Toolbox to set the name of your room. To do this, open up Text Console and connect to the panel. Once you are connected, use the RUI Name Console command to set your room name. If you're using a TSW 60 series touch panel, there is a 14 character limit. For 70 series touch panels, the character limit is 26. There are three steps to setting up mobile control. 1. Review your existing controls. 2. Select the controls you want to expose to the user. 3. Load the settings to the panel and enable the app. Let's cover the steps in detail. First, you'll need to obtain the joins from the panel you want to control. You will need to be running the latest version of VT Pro E. You can obtain VT Pro E through the Crestron Master Installer, or by downloading it manually from the software section at crestron.com support. Let's cover the two possible scenarios for obtaining the join numbers. If you have the source code, open VT Pro E and export the joins from your project. To do this, open your project file and select Generate Project Document. Source code files from a touch panel project using smart graphics will be a .vta or .vtp file. If you do not have the uncompiled code, you can use the .vtz compiled project file. To obtain the join numbers using a .vtz, open VT Pro E and select File and Generate Project Document from VTZ. You will be prompted to locate the .vtz and press Generate. Thank you for watching.